Okay, welcome to the Lobo Den Podcast. We have Eric Pinnell from episode 1 to 70-something, 100 of the Lobo Den, who helped me start, he forced me uh, at gunpoint to start the Lobo Den Podcast. Maybe not that. But we talk about open mics, how comedians are crazy. We talk about women, wives. We talk about drugs, cocaine. Oh, the Honduran guy, you found out that uh, raped me. And then when I did mushrooms this weekend. Okay, Lobo Den. <laughs> Okay, welcome to the Love It and Podcast. I'm your host, Giovanni Diaz. To my left is Johnson Smith, Common, Common Glyph Studios. And across from me is Eric Pinnell from the first Love It and Podcast, second yeah. Love It and Podcast, episode 170 something. Yeah. You're the one who talked me into uh, uh, talking me into yeah. doing the podcast because I would talk to you after open mics about eating like. Uh, chicks ass out and not using condoms i mean you say that dude but like yeah you're just a funny guy everybody's doing a podcast now it was just a natural thing it's not like i forced you to buy electronics you did force me the not logo. Really. You gave me deadlines on the logo. It's like have oh, a logo yeah. by tomorrow. Yeah. Have a logo next week. I probably, you, tell- you know what? I think I you also really told did. you about like iTunes and stuff because I learned my lessons. Because I was trying. I remember after uh, this is for the. Birds, I want to do a podcast. when this is for the birds broke up with like Russ Williamson and Brian then, Martin. Uh, yeah, Lobo Brian Martin. And, yeah, yeah, and and uh, when we broke up with that, I started up Man Shit. And because I was like, oh, I'm going to do a man shit podcast, and you could never find it because on iTunes you can't have like a cuss word uh-huh. in your like in your title you can't it's something about it and then i learned a lot with that so when you were done where you're gonna uh, do a podcast i told you like at least don't do this don't do that because i learned from it and that that's about all i fucking threw at you i mean it would have been it was it was you were gonna do that i mean you are a wild guy i talk about this every time and stuff and you're getting less wild finally you're like you're kicking the wild guy out of you a little bit a little bit but this weekend i did mushrooms on accident on purpose i was so rob spagnoli he's been on my podcast episode Mm. 40 something italian dude Mm. no italian mexican actor and he does italian mexican he's a lone shark not a lone shark what kind of who does why is he working at a check cashing place no so he's a repo guy oh yeah right i've been i've been a furniture repo guy for rena center years ago i used to knock on doors for merch and dice and fucking people tell me they're going to shoot me in the fucking face and stuff and come down. How much you get paid me. for that? Was it worth? I it? was making like thirteen dollars an hour in Ohio, and I was making like sixteen in, in fucking Harlem, New York, and stuff. Where yeah, where people were. You like, lived in New York? Yeah, I lived at one hundred forty second and Lenox. How long were you in New York? Never tell me this. Uh, like like a little over a year and a half or so. Yeah. How, why'd you go to New York? Because uh, I was I started in Cleveland with with stand up and mm-hmm. it was horrible. There was no scene at all. You would drive forty five minutes to an open mic that you read in the back of a fucking free newspaper. And, you know, like uh, last month of the Thursday of the month or whatever like that, you'd go there, ask the bartender uh, somewhere in the Cleveland suburbs, is there an open mic tonight? And they go, we haven't done that in three months. So I did that for like a year, little over a year. And I go, that fuck happened. this. I'm moving. I'm like getting out of here. And that's why. Yeah. Wait, when did you start? Why did you start? I don't know if long I ever asked you. A long time ago. It's embarrassing to tell you how long I've been doing comedy. You know, and I still why did you start? I don't remember. Mud. I mean, I was 27 and I'm 47. Okay. So it's been over 20 years ago. But the first year, I I probably did stand up maybe three, four times because it was so, you know, I was new, scared, nothing there, you know, and then, but but then once I went to New York, I learned how to open mic. And then once I came here, I, I already knew how to open mic. And then, dude, the open mics in New York at the time, I don't know about now, I can't speak to it, but they were charging like $10 to do an open mic, like, like every open LA, mic. So if New you're York, doing so- like, if. They charge. They charge that. LA, New York charge. Which, spots. which I get it because otherwise the play, the venue, I get it. I understand the venue is not going to do it if people aren't buying drinks and stuff like that. But then when I came to Chicago and they weren't charging and you could do like you know and also when I got to Chicago in like 05, there wasn't uh, there wasn't like three open mics a night almost every night like it was, it was the, before COVID the, and the stuff. The Lions like that. Day dens and stuff. I was I came before. after the Lions Den. I I, I, I okay. like right when I got here. There was like a group of comics that just moved from here to New York and L.A. Like Pete Holmes just left. Uh, I, I I missed Tommy John again. I missed like all those guys that were like I was here when T.J. was here. T.J. Miller. T.J. Miller. I seen T.J. Miller finesse and, and do his thing. I remember when he got. Uh, he's uh, not all there, right? Yeah. He, what's that? He's not all there. Right? I thought he, he's all there. Is he's he? all there. Absolutely. He, he's just he's just, he's a just drunker. dude. He, like comics. I don't know about that. I don't know about. I can't speak to any of that. I'm not buddies with him at all or anything. But I, I, dude, he's finessed it. He's very talented. Uh, I'm just of the belief that comics, including myself, were weird, crazy, and a couple other things, dude. Like, I, now, I've been back five weeks now, and, uh, and I'm doing open mics, which I'm not proud of. But <laughs> And I've always known this, but now I'm back in it, and I'm, I'm an older man and stuff like that. Like, people at open mics are fucking crazy. 
Like, not all of them. And I know I'm part crazy, dude. Justin used to run open. Mic. Yeah, but they're crazy people. You're there with, I mean, like, really crazy people. Remember, like, wait, somebody that's like, get the fuck away from remember me. Remember Wade Herter? No, I don't. I don't remember that. Wade Herter, quick mm-hmm. thing. He was he was homeless, and he would go and just yell. So yeah. we never see the light because his eyes were closed. And he'd go into these rants, but then yeah. his dad died. Dad, his dad oh. had all his money, and he, like, was, became a millionaire and went to L.A. Wow, his you dad died? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I don't know that. Because I've been in and out, dude. There's there's times where I was really plugged in. I, like, another thing is, dude, I don't want to be the open mic king. I, I am I don't that is not a goal of mine that anymore. Ronnie either didn't want to be the. I don't want to be the open mic king. I don't want to be that. I at one time when you first like learning and stuff like that. I I'm not trying to be the open mic king, but if, but if people get crowned that, I am nowhere near trying to get close to the open mic king. People want to be the open mic king. People want to be like the scene king. I don't want to be a scene king. I don't really, you know, it's it's what not a want? goal of mine. I, I just want to be able to fucking make money with telling jokes and stuff and pay f- for things with my family and my wife can quit her job and just be a full time mom and uh, and 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 travel around. You know, I want to be on. You know, I want to do this. I want to do like whatever every successful comedian does. I want to do that. And uh, and it's not just because they're doing it. It's just because I've been fucking failing for like twenty years and I I I, I should already be done. Like I I've I should. You know how many times I've punched my steering wheel leaving like open mics. <laughs> like literally, like punched my. And I know who I am. It's me. It's not them. Like I know who I am. I'm I'm me. The person that my success and my failure because of me. Uh, you know I've burnt so many bridges in this fucking. You get so business. angry at people. I I I, I dude. I, that's why like with you. Like I it's I, I want to make sure that that we're, we continue to be friends because there's so many comics that I become friends with and then I'm not friends with them anymore. There's like you know? five I could think of off the top of my head. Yeah 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 yeah. One I can of them name is them. Crazy. I can name him. One of them's crazy. Oh yeah, one of them that is guy. crazy, and I don't want to be near that dude. Yeah. I don't want to say his name on here. I don't the want any lawsuits guy. or something. I don't remember if he had hair or not. He did, but I don't. I, yeah, okay, okay. I see what you're saying, but I, I have to uh, like. Yeah, yeah, but comics name. are crazy. Like, I don't want to be near certain comics, and some comics rub me wrong. I've had, dude, I've had comics like steal fucking jokes from me and stuff like that, and they're better comics. And I'm like, why are you? You're a better comic. You're a fucking headliner. Comics crazy. You're a headliner, and you're stealing my fucking jokes, and then Who it ruins it? the French. I can't say names because, okay. it, but it, but I'll tell you off mic and stuff like that. But you know, I have stuff like that, and then, dude, comics have been running me from me forever. Like ever, when I was when I was twenty seven, I started doing jokes. People would run from me. So the people that I'm only friends with, for the most part, oh, are the yeah. ones that like approach me, and and then also the ones that I and also with comedy, I have to like your comedy. Like if I'm friends with you, like I can't really like if you're not a funny guy and like 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 uh, that's what I'm saying. We're friends because I like your comedy. You're my type of guy. Although you're a wild guy, I'm not a wild guy anymore. I can't have wild guy stuff in my life anymore because I'll ruin my life. I'll ruin it. I can't do drugs because I'll ruin my life. I've already ruined my life. Have you smoked weed at all? No weed no more. I, I really you, don't drink years very ago, much. You tried it again, right? Uh, yeah, I came back, but I smoked weed for since I was like 15 forever, dude. He until lost like his five house. years ago. I lost, I got a house foreclosed he, on. Yeah, because he was smoking I, too much. I just smoking too much weed and just like not paying attention to anything. And and I know that's why I don't touch hard drugs because I know that I, I haven't, everybody in my family's an alcoholic. I, I, my mom's a pill popper. Like, like, you know, you already know about this. And, yeah. and everybody in my family's like, besides a few, you are all like substance abuse people so i know i can't touch this shit because i also know me like so but anyways but but dude these these open mic comics a lot of them are nice guys but a lot of them are fucking crazy it's and i and i hate being back into open mics i'm trying to get real shows it's to so get me bad. out of the mud it's disgusting uh, you, you're just doing roast battles now right you're not I, even really doing like a lot i'm of, doing a show next week i'm doing the that fat guy producer yeah. in rockford jerry mm-hmm. Corey. yeah whose calf is like this have you seen this no, calf? I never like seen, this... I've only did one show there. That was a good show though. Yeah, I just remember seeing his calf when I was in Rockford at one of his shows. He's got bad circulation. Uh huh. Is that bad he's circulation? Giant. Or he's is a, he, he's or is a, he's he just a, he's a big dude. And I always then... see dudes at the bus stop with big purple fucking calves that are like this big and stuff, and they got those high tension socks or whatever they call them on there. You go, that poor guy. He's gonna get those legs cut off. So I'm doing uh, Lance with Lance Rich. I'm doing Ricky March is gonna be there. Lance hit me up and he was like Minutes, money, and I was like, I'll do it. But mm-hmm. I told myself I'm not going to do another show unless I write some new material. So yeah. after this roast battle tomorrow, Ty Glover, yeah. roast battle. Oh, Justin, roast battle. You Dude, get, is that the crew you back know what? tomorrow? I heard, I heard from, I heard from a good authority yesterday mm-hmm. that uh, Todd at the open mic was asking all the open mic comics. Uh, if they got any jokes about you and stuff like that, and he was getting emails, and he was uh, saying like, "Email me th- these. This, hey, these are do? my jokes." I don't care. I mean, he he literally asked like a whole list full of open micers to write jokes against you. Good. 
I want and it to be a good show. Yeah, you that's, want that, huh? I, that's do. I don't give a fuck if I win or not. You know what? I just though, want it to be a good show. It's, it feels nice, but I want it just to be good. But part of my problem is with like, and I get it when you do roast battle TV and stuff like that, or whatever, and you whatever the high levels of roast battle and stuff. I get it. Other people are writing it. I guess back in the day when you're roasting a Has- a Hasselhoff and like Trump and stuff, people are writing it. But honestly, as a comedian, like if I'm not if I'm not like sharpening my like if I ain't writing the jokes, I don't want nobody else writing my jokes. And I know it's like, well, you're not going to come that hard then. Well, then guess what? I'm not going to do it then. I don't, I just I just don't feel like that's like if you're going to be uh, if I don't know, man. Like I get it. You're just you want a better show and stuff, but. I think, you know, people should just write their own I jokes mean, or or don't battle. I'll run jokes by my comic friends or no, my civilians and things like that. No, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you're, tr- like, when people, not even just Send me this jokes. guy that you're battling, I'm saying with others, uh, it could be a joke it's, against them. it's like, look, if you're not writing the bulk of them, why even, why even you know, getting into the arena, you know? I I, I mean, but I understand. I I don't know, dude. I think part of the comedy thing is uh, is if I'm not thinking of it and writing it, I don't, I don't need jokes from other people. You ain't even going to get me off the couch. You ain't going to get my blood up. Like, it's... Well, it's not fun. Like, oh, even my own jokes. Like I said, the reason I... I said yes to the show, but I told him I got to write new jokes. So I, yeah. after tomorrow, I'm going to... I got to get jokes ready because there's a mic I can hit by my house on a Monday. And mm-hmm. the show's Friday because mm-hmm. I told myself I'm not going up there. Because I did a show... Fuck, it was somewhere in the suburbs, right? And then it was me... Uh, who's it? M- Mirza? J- Jessica Mirza? Mizra, Mizra, mm-hmm. oh fuck, um, Alan Ford, forgot yeah. the guy who hosted it, big dude, god damn it, all right, I need more electrolytes, mm-hmm. oh. I did the show and I was doing the material and it was just like, it was my old jokes and I, as I was doing it, yeah, it's I hard hated doing old jokes. it, because I was doing a, I was doing crowd work and that was fun and I was yeah. like, oh, now I gotta go back and then to you go back fucking, in your jokes and then, and then it goes it. down, it, you know, it, yeah. it went well and the people, yeah. they don't notice it, but inside it's like, it's killing yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, all right, I can't well, part say of yes. that is is probably you just don't got the energy. It's it's it's, it's you're, you're not it, it it's not giving you the energy to get off the couch. Like these are jokes that you know you, you the I new jokes are what gets you off the couch. That's what's fun because that's then, that, then fun. that's what you're like. You're like new jokes, you know, new pussy. Yeah, that's it. New so, jokes, new pussy, huh? So I did. Uh, speaking of pussy. So speaking of transgenders, or we were mm-hmm. talking about it before. I was uh, this weekend. I was Rob. It was his birthday party. Mm-hmm. Um, he pulls out some candy bars, right? Mm-hmm. Chocolate. And I think it's an edible. It's like I've been yeah. wanting to get high. It's been a while. It's been maybe years since I've gotten high. And I was like, mm-hmm. "Is that edible?" Gave me a little, but it was mushrooms, right? You've done yeah. mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms yeah. aren't a party drug. It's something you should. Dude, do I just a- talked to a woman that uh, she got a uh, felony four off of a mushroom candy bar. A felony out four sub- is that suburbs. X? I don't know. What I don't know. I don't even know what that means, but I know it's, she said a felony four off a of mushroom chocolate bar. I know X. I know felony X was uh, one of my one of the listeners got. He's a biker, mm-hmm. and he, I think he used, to, he used to sell crack. Or he used to sell coke, and he smoked crack for a while. But I think he's he's I think he's off of it now. But he he got an X felony and a divorce, and all went down. Ah, um, but I left a bunch of really cigarettes. not laughing at you, bud. I'm just saying it's so funny how women are. They're so fickle. Like you get it, you get in a little mud, and they're like, "I'm leaving." It's like you fucking fair weather bitch. Like I I tell you what, my wife. I wish she would fucking try leaving me if I get like a like anything like that. It's like bitch. You're staying. You're Speaking staying. of leaving, You're not oh leaving yeah. Me. Did you guys see the Steven Crowder thing? Did you see it? I'm staying away from that. I don't like Steven Crowder, dude. I, I, don't, I don't like him at all. And, I, and it's not even political. He's just unlikable. He's he's a prick. He's not like a nice guy. I don't give a fuck. I seen that video about his stupid wife and him out on the patio. I, I don't like anything about him. He's probably a prick and she probably needs her pussy ate good. I don't care. Did you, about s- that. you saw Justin? He was, uh, so he was, she's nine months pregnant. Yeah. They have one car. I don't know if the car's in the shop or yeah. what was going on. Mm-hmm. And she wanted to go get groceries. He was like, no. Yeah. He was like, no, it's about discipline. It's about respect. He was giving yeah. a rant. Yeah. Oh, and she wanted to uh, touch some, uh, there was some dog medicine she had to grab, and she's like, "Hey, this isn't good. I'm not supposed to touch it if I'm pregnant." Yeah. He's like, "Put some fucking, put some gloves on. Put yeah. some gloves on." And he goes, yeah. up, "But I found a, you know, if you saw the under interview that he did with his ex guy, he fired. He's like a control freak. He's crazy." Yeah, Dave Landau. Yeah, Dave Landau. Yeah. I was watching that. Dave so I got Landau's a little murderer, dude. I've seen. I haven't. I haven't yeah, seen. Yeah, I, I did. I did a fucking. Uh, I've only seen him in a room once, man. Years, like ten years ago, dude. I did a one nighter with fucking Kevin. Um, who's the killer? Also, that's a Wisconsin guy that lives here. He's been around. He's been on your podcast, but we did a one nighter with these. Uh, yeah, Kevin. What's his name? He's uh, used to be a drunk, but I'm not sure if he is anymore or whatever. Like Jonah that. Jerkins. No, it was Wisconsin. No, but it, we did a fireman thing. Kevin Bozeman. Kevin Bozeman. Bozeman. Madison, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comedy yeah. stage. Yeah, home yep. Club. And then after there, we went to comedy on State Street, and, and I seen. Uh, I just seen Dave murdering up there. That was like ten years ago. 
and he was murdering. That guy's been, you know, getting his due for a minute, man. But that guy's fucking unlikable. Like, like, and also. Wait, Crowder or Landau? Crowder. Crowder. Yeah. And also, like, uh, lady, just touch it. Like, like these fucking people are such pussies now. Like, where it's like. What do you well, think? She's like, white. Yeah, I know. It's a white thing. It's not a white thing. It's, I think it's uh, just a fucking. I feel it's a white thing. Yeah, well, maybe. Maybe you're, uh, you're, Tina would either do it or maybe stab you or something, which it's, I like it. The white member, she was like, I love you. She was like, I love you, Steven, but I can't. Uh, that's such, to me, that's such a white thing. Like, I don't feel yeah. like that's yeah. some shit a Latino or Mexican bitch will say. It's just American culture in general, dude. That is the good thing about like all the damn illegals coming over. They're going to fucking toughen us up again because we've gotten so soft and pussy, you know? So it's going to help out the generations a little we'll bit like that out. because what? We'll balance it out. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, there's a lot of good pussy coming over the border. I've been saying that for years. You there's know what I'm saying? There's this guy I and know. And some hard workers. There's some guy I know. What does he say? Every, like every day, well, this is, I'm a little bit older, so it grosses me out, but he's like, every day there's a new 18 year old. My limit now would be 25 if yeah. I slept with everybody because I'm 38, mm-hmm. right? So then, yeah, but you say that no. until it gets to a certain point, and you just go, "Why would I?" I guess, like, if you started just messing with nineteen-year-olds, and that's all you mess with, like nineteen you, to twenty-four. You say it, it kind of grosses me out. Just thinking about it, why? Like, it's, it's legal. I don't care. But pussy's got a clock on it, and once that clock hits a slavery certain time, legal. then boom. Oh yeah, is that it? So you banging like a nineteen-year-old is equivalent to slavery? It grosses me. Yes, it's not equivalent to slavery, and I'm not even going down it that road grosses- of like you know white night shit. You know why? Because I've been around. Not- maybe because I'm friends with some of them on Facebook. I've been around him and I see him they just kind of I don't remember if this happened to you when you were younger mm-hmm. when you started seeing teenagers yeah okay when you grew up you, I had an image of teenagers because I saw on TV and they were played by 28 year olds yeah. and I didn't know that yeah and when I started but I became older and I saw teenagers like I hate teenagers I see them at the store and everything they're mm-hmm. you see how young they look and how disgusting and dirty they are like I don't like teenagers I don't like kids yeah I don't like either of them you know they're you know what pisses me off is like it doesn't piss me off, but I think one of the things like I never had this thought before. What pisses me off about kids is they're young. It's I like they're fucking that. young, and it's like fuck you. You're young. You got your whole life. I'm fucking old. You got this technology now. You guys, everything, whatever they got, and I like I and, and then they're little assholes, and they're 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 better like, than me. I don't like they're all better kids. than me because they're young. I don't like undisciplined kids. Like well, yeah, those that they're just annoying and they. Go in the other room. Like the adults are here trying to have a good time. Yeah. Do you want to have kids, Justin? Yeah. Listen, that's what all dudes say. And then they get some fucking chick in their life. And then that's giving them good pussy. And then like, they're like, and then they're just like, okay. You know, not saying that's you, but that's how they get us. That's how they get us is where they just Biology. go. They, they, they slowly work on us. But you, you know what, dude? And you, you have a son. And uh, I'm telling you, man, it's the best thing that, uh, you know, Dude, it, kids yeah. are the best thing. It, it is the best thing. I'm not saying for everybody. And also, it's different situations. Like, dude, I had a baby mom right out of high school. That was a fucking nightmare. Oh, yeah, like, you had a shitty baby mom. Oh, my God. It was a nightmare, dude. I avoided like, it that. Was, like, it I was, avoided DUIs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. You having a bad baby me. mom is like having four DUIs. Like, that's how bad it is. Like, where it's like this. I got, you. well, dude, you got a bad baby mom. I got an uncle that didn't have a, he had like six kids by like five different baby moms. He didn't have a license for like 25 years. I mean, ever. He, 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 he was under the the table like like dude this dude was under the table until like even like three years ago who was under the table like three years ago dude my i just found out my cousin has seven kids yeah this is my cousin that went to jail in oklahoma for uh transporting weed yeah uh fuck uh let me see fuck i forgot his name i wanted to pull up the article because mm-hmm. i remember i was watching it yeah he was i remember somebody in the family sent the article and they had like 140 pounds of weed yeah they didn't vacuum seal it they just taped yeah. it and they were all high on the drive so oh, they, stupid they got pulled over they cheech and chonged it dude they're <sighs> fucking they, stupid i was i was so pissed just looking at it is like fuck yeah. you. but my his brother uh-huh. who's uh who they're twins right oh really his brother i just found out saturday yeah. that he's going to jail for 10 years in minnesota oh, really? so i don't know how much he had or what but but the thing, okay, the guy with the yeah. seven kids, I just found out, the motherfucker, four, I had seven kids, four yeah. with one, uh, four with one, and then the rest with Well, that's not terrible then. You got four with one, but I'm telling you, dude, you have multiple, like, especially if they're a certain age, and you got baby moms at a certain age, that, that guys like that, like, like guys that have like four different baby moms and the kids are like all under eight, that dude could be like the CEO of like a major fortune 500 company because he's dealing with, you're dealing with like crazy baby moms and their attitudes and their scheduling and them coming over and popping off. And then you're dating other chicks. Like that dude's a multitasker. Like when you could do that, that's like a real multitasker because people don't realize like that's, that's why like, 
when they when like I know it's dying down a little bit now, but like the last like five years when they're like toxic masculinity, toxic, and it's like as soon as I hear that, I go, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, there's no toxic women ever because I know there's toxic women. You know there's toxic women. Uh, Lois Lane. But they act like there's no toxic women. It's like, what are you talking about? I, I, I I've said it. To, like, Who dude, acts like there's no toxic women? Dude, there's dudes out there. I I, I knew a dude that was like, what? women aren't like that. I go, Who? what are you talking about? Is he, does he really Have think been, that? Or is he you white know what? Nighting? I just I I think it's like. Uh, I just think, yeah, I think that. I think I think certain people just can't even say the truth because once you say the truth, you're you're like on on another side of thinking, and it's like you're not really on the side of thinking. You're just being honest. On there's toxic Maybe women. He it's, hasn't. There's really toxic everybody. Dated a lot or hasn't been around. Or I don't know how the guy was safe. like. The guy was uh, you know in his uh, uh, you know mid mid forties. How would you not know? How would you not know? How would you never marry? He, he was a dude that uh, was like uh, he was in a relationship for five years, but uh, he was a weed dealer and he was uh, he's been around. He's been around. I mean, he's he's he's, you know, but but to think that there isn't toxic women. And, and, and again, I'm not shitting on all women, just like toxic men. I'm not they're not shitting on all guys. They're talking about toxic men and stuff. But to think that that like there's everybody's toxic. Everybody's talking just like the Steven Crowder thing, the Steven Crowder thing. That's why it's like, I don't even want to see that. I was I yelling I at Jessica last night and I was like, I want to record it. I wasn't that mean. Well, dude, if but they, I was like, I went by the camera, turn it on. Part of me was joking. If they would record but most people, most people fighting, everybody would look like a monster. Everybody would look like a monster where, I'd you know, arrested. dude, my wife for years has been like, you're like a robot inside. Cause I don't fucking cry or nothing like that. And I'm, I'm just, no, I cry. You do? My son cries too. Yeah. Oh, no, fucking yeah. cry babies. Uh, well, my son's a cry baby too, but I, I, you know, I always say tough and like, I'm like, stop it. You know, like, Cut it, cut it out. Like not all the time. Look, if he gets fucked up, cry. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he falls. You go, God damn, that looked like a hurt. But you know, I mean, I don't know. You like crying a lot? I'm not. I don't like it, but I do it. Really? I'm very. I'm not even keel. Yeah. So I get highs and I get lows. Yeah, like, I get highs no, and lows. You know what I mean? I'm not even kill at all. Dude, so. I never cry about like anything. And then I'll tell my wife, like, Movies? I was driving home and I, I fucking heard a Leonard Skinner song and it almost made me cry. And she gets mad that I say that. She goes, you're a monster. Like, what's the matter with you? You can't cry you know? at like real life stuff, but Leonard Skinner, Tuesday's Gone, right. makes you fucking cry. So I can, It's like, I didn't cry, but it almost did. The same thing for me a little bit. Like, I can cry more in real life, but for years I couldn't, I didn't cry in real life. Real life situations never cried. Yeah. But when I would watch movies or not songs so much. Watch because I will li- and listen to rap. You can't cry to rap. Mm. I don't think anybody's ever cried this. You know what so. though? Now when I hear old rap, it does make me get a little, uh, a little What's teary old rap sometimes. To you? We're a different generation. Oh, like '90s rap and stuff like that. Stuff Name when I was names. a kid, and uh, you know, just like like all that Ghetto Boys E40, like all that '90s rap okay. and stuff like that. You know, uh, so, sometimes I'll hear something. So and I'll before go, NWA. No, after bit. NWA. Yeah, like after NWA. NWA popped their head up pretty early, man. I mean, it was it was pretty early. Like that, that Ghetto Boys, NWA, like L.O. Cool J, like after like a second album type stuff. That was all early stuff. I mean, you know, uh, that those NWA albums, fuck, they were broke up. I mean, I, dude, I think Dre was already on to like Doggy Style by like, ni- I think his Chronic album was 1992 or 93. And then, no, and then Doggy the Style was in 94. Doggy style was like in like ninety four. Snoop. Yeah, Doggy. and then and then Dog Pound was ninety five. Oh, and then that and then you're the talking like chronic. yeah, the first yeah, chronic. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then and then you're talking like uh, you know like and then yeah, but that death row came and go pretty. It came and went pretty fast, man. But yeah, like that type of stuff sometimes will get me where I'm like, I don't know if it brings me to a place when I was a kid, you That's know, where I was like, oh okay. You know what? I'm, oh, these nuts. Uh, yeah, 1992, December fifteenth. I remember yeah. I was in I was class. I was in class with a fucking black dude that was like half retarded. He went by the Golden Mac. Like he went by the Golden Mac and he talked like he talked like this. And he was trying to bully. He was me. in regular class. It, it was right when that album came out. And and, and he yeah, was in regular class. That tells a lot about me. But I, I promise you, it was just like a regular class. And he was they didn't he have like special. This. He went by the Golden Mac, and he was real slow, motherfucker. And he was trying to bully me. He was trying to bully me for a second. And some black dude that came to school like fucking five times. Oh, a you year. went to school with black dudes, right? All, like mostly black yeah, dudes. I, I thought I was black that. until I was like twenty two. Then I just realized I like black people shit, you know. But uh, but some black dude that came to school like five times a year, seen him do that and just fucking just totally checked him and shut it down. And I was like, oh, thanks, dude. Like I did fucking he didn't have to do that, but he shut it down real quick. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up on all this shit, man. Like all this. Yeah. So it's fucking awesome, man. I mean, it's you didn't grow up on this stuff. You're younger, dude. How old are you? You're 37 or something. I'm 38. Right? So 38. Yeah. Easy, I remember Easy E because yeah. my uncle. I remember Easy E. My uncle who has. 
he's divorced. Well, mm-hmm. he never got married, but he has a kid, whatever. Mm-hmm. So he he brought the Easy E CD. So I remember yeah. fu- Fuck the Police was NWA. Yeah. But they were blast that. Because I lived, I grew up, my first few years in LA. I grew up in LA. Really? And I yeah. didn't grow up. I, is that where you, is that why you're picking up street walkers in Compton and stuff like that? You got family ties out there? I was using my aunt. My dad got him in his fucking Honda Odyssey. And You're had- picking up street walkers in a family car? Yeah, she found out about it on the That's podcast. That's some piece of shit, dude, right there. Because if something happens and it gets towed or something, it's like, what was he doing? Did he oh, run a street light? No, he was picking up a fucking... But street it, walker. It was funny because when Ugh. I would drive around in the Honda Odyssey, is it the Odyssey? Is that the SUV? Dude, my, no, my brother in law and them had a, on a Honda Odyssey. Pilot. Those are nice for pilot. the uh, minivans. Pilot. Pilot. Oh, okay. It was a pilot right? okay. Yeah. But in the back, it had the sticker from my other cousin, her his uh, her son, and he he was a DJ at the time, mm-hmm. right? So it had DJ Kelly Swift. So there was advertising because I'd go to gas stations. Yeah. Because whenever I'd go, she'd be Kelly Swift. It. Yeah, I'd go. People <laughs> bought me and they try to book a uh, book a weekend. For DJ. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, DJ Kelly Swift. But yeah. no, I was like. It was, and I laid down. Dude, all Mexicans the seats. always have a lot of DJs in their family. My wife has like three DJs in her family. I swear, to, right? DJs, DJs. Uh, what else? There's something else. Or the people, like she, she does rental now. So if you need to get a bouncy house, dude, they always got weddings. it. They, dude, they always got like three DJs at least in the family. They got like two chicks that always do hair, and they got like one or two dudes that are renting bouncy houses all the fucking time. And not to get dark, one not to the- knock their hustle though. I got, I like it. You and know, there's always like an, a pedophile in there, uncle. I hope not. There is. Yeah, like there was one uh, like my sister stopped really? talking to one cousin because there was one he's a pedo and then Ooh. like i'm trying to think if i remember the but, but there, there was one and then mm. she doesn't talk to him anymore because like yeah. they didn't call him out but it's gonna like, fuck one of the kids I, yeah but Ugh. now yeah there's a few i know well you know a lot of families probably i hope I, i've never my family's fucked up but we've never had a pedophile although i told you my mom last podcast she dated a fucking pedophile like two years ago I, I and, and she she was like I didn't know I'm like bitch how do you not know you're sucking this well, guy's dick and you don't she's yeah pills. she's she's fucking out of it she's just gone but that's a lie she hangs out with scumbags and like pill poppers and drug addicts and stuff it's just her it's her style you know it's her her type of people that's you know that's who she's getting the pills from that's who she's probably getting something else from who knows something else what was it who knows I don't know what else you know like I told you before with drug addicts and like addicts you can never still, get the truth oh, out of still, them oh they're always lying dude they're always they're always lying, lying. They're pill, pill poppers. Like, They're always lying. I'm always like weary of when I get messages for money. Like, is this a real message or is there my friend has? Have hey, what they... happened to your dad, dude? He's supposed to come back, right? No, how's he gonna come back? I thought you said he's coming back to the country, dude. He thinks in his head, like, how is he gonna come back? Who's gonna pay for it? I'm not paying for it, dude. Just come right over the border. What's he talking about? <laughs> no, he wants to do it. It's he wants. He to... got deported, so if he comes over the border and like comes in with like everybody else and says, hey, they they probably won't keep him, right? Do they go, you got to go back? I wonder. I wonder what happened if a guy that's been deported already, if he comes in through, like, the border, will they... But I, I think he's doing better. I got my cousin that's just good. went over there, and she uh, she took sent some pictures, and he looked way better that's than good. he did if he was, like, skinnier, but not too that's skinny. Because remember, he was smoking crystal? Yeah. And then he might still be here, but I don't know if he's smoking crystal, but I think he's doing, mm. I think he's doing better now. It looked I like it from so. the pictures... But I mean, if he's not, like, who cares, dude? Who cares? He's in Mexico. What if he's not? It's like he's here, anyways. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I guess. But uh, I, you I know what? T- I take it back because yes, I have step brothers are over there. There's a family like oh really a little bit, but it's like it's like when people die in India, yeah. like 500 people die. You just see it in the news, and you're like, that's fucked up. But you don't know the people, so you don't like. Yeah. If one person, you yeah, know, but guess it's what? Different. When people die over here, they don't give a fuck either. So that's just the way it is. If you don't know anybody, it's, it's... it doesn't seem real. You know what I mean? It yeah. doesn't seem real. Until, until it's close. It doesn't seem real. People don't die. Yeah. Like, what, you, remember, you remember your first death? Mine was my my grandpa dog. That's the one that, that you may realize, like, oh fuck. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, he's a drunk. He died at age fifty-one. I'm forty-seven, about to be forty-eight in a few months, and my grandpa checked out at like fifty-one because he's fucking drunk. liver. Liver cirrhosis. Yeah, they told that dude, they go, don't fucking drink no more. The doctor. And he fucking went on what his did boat they say? with like I just a 12 went to the pack and came back and died in his trailer. <laughs> he died in his trailer. And my fucking Uncle Jim that has like six kids by five different chicks came home. He's like 13 and seen him. Not to be fucking depressed. But I, it, it, it did buy. Look, I was a little kid and I realized it where I go, oh, okay. You know, that, that, that it's, it, the good thing is with all these drunks in my family, I realized like, don't be a drunk. Because that's how you, that's how it's going to go down. Do you remember the, the drugs, de- the details of the liver? Because I just went to the doctor and they said something about my liver being like fatty liver and stuff. Everybody's got a fatty. <laughs> oh, liver. Okay, so that hasn't do with booze. I don't think so, dude. It's probably just our food and stuff that we eat and stuff. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I've been eating more carbs. So I'm going to cut back. Like today, I had a hot dog. Fuck, I'm done, dude. I'm oh, done really? eating hot dogs. I had a. Do- I do this stupid thing where I'm like, I'm okay, wrong with a hot dog. But though. listen, 
it's like five dollars for the hot dog and fries, or I go to the Mediterranean place and get the good meat with the rice. Yeah, it's like thirteen dollars. Yeah, and no. I forget to bring my lunch. And I'm trying to save money. Yeah, but then I eat that fucking hot dog, and it co- there's a Spanish saying is like lo barato te costa, te costa or something like that. Like mm-hmm. whatever's cheap is gonna cost you. Yeah, and then I was I went to Jewel to buy my mango, my That's orange. Good saying, probably right. Yeah, and then I went there and I just got dizzy, and it just fucking hit me. And then it happens sometimes when I have like this bad food. I didn't get dizzy. I got nauseous. Yeah, and it just and I was like, you know, I need to. Because the day before, I got a hot dog. You still wild like Double you were? Double dog. You still wild like you were, man? I had like, mushrooms. Well, so what happened is, this what happened. Oh, the mushrooms. So I was with Rob Spagnoli, right? Lobo mm-hmm. Podcast. I think episode 40-something. Mm-hmm. It was his birthday. Uh, can I'm Your old lady me. puts up with you being wild like that? Because I tell you what, man. I didn't, my wife kill, I didn't not, kill anybody. I, she'd be in my ear. Buddy. Like where it's like you, you're too wild and dude, I've no. We got into a giant fight. We got into a giant fight that night. She was yelling. Well, she thought I did cocaine that night. She's oh, like, really? she's like, there's no way. I was like, Why'd you he does fucking, fucking coke. No, yeah. he's like, he does coke. Your other friends do coke. There's like, and nobody offered you coke. I was like, nobody. I would just tell you because alleged. Would you? Yeah, I because would. I don't if, give a fuck. If, if 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 she was, yeah, I know dudes say that where it's like, I would just tell her. I would. But if she's gonna get, read you the riot act and stuff like that, there's some things that you, you know. You know, women do that whole thing is uh, uh, not telling me is lying. It's like I don't even like what I do is I Nazi. I would I would hold thoughts, but if something I just tell her because she's gonna find out anyways. Yeah, I don't I don't I can't I don't have the energy I, dude, to I'm lie very, anymore. I'm very honest with my wife too. Man. I just don't have it in me to. I, I, lie. Yeah, it's like, dude, this is who I am. Yeah, I don't I don't have okay. the energy to lie. I, I believe in that you didn't do coke. You know I feel I mean? it too, man. A no, bit. I didn't. I did do mushrooms though. This okay. is what happened. I did, did you tell uh, her that. Yeah, well, I had to. This is what happened. I was I was with Rob, right? We're then, and he pulls out the candy bars, mm-hmm. and I'm like, "You got edible?" It's like, "Let me do a little bit." It's been a while since I've been high. It's like, "This is mushrooms." I was like, "No, nah, no, nah. I know mushrooms are not a party drug. Not when you're drinking or yeah. at a bar, it's not for me." But then, um, and then he was like, "Come on!" I was like, "All right, fuck it." So I did it. So I ate the mushrooms. I had like three square pieces of mm-hmm. it's like a mushroom chocolate bar. Right? Yeah, the class four felony ones yeah, that your friend got. They're not legal yet. I don't know. <sighs> Whatever. So then I did him and then didn't even think about it. So then I go out to this bar afterwards. Yeah. Um, and she's she's with some friends at Kenosha and she's going to meet or she's working. She's We're going to meet up at this bar, my friend's bar. Mm-hmm. So I'm there. My friend shows up and I'm like, can my other friend get in? He's black. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have his ID. Can he get in? He's like, yeah. So I'm chilling. We're in the VIP. And this is the guy who raped me, my friend. Uh, do you remember the story, right? The Honduran guy? You had a guy rape you? Probably. Okay, this is quick, quick repack of the story. I don't know if I told you this one. I was at his bar that mm-hmm. he owned. Pre- same bar, but had a different name. Yeah. It went through. His cousin owned it, did too much coke, so now he has it again. Mm-hmm. But anyways, Honduras. Anyways, trash people. So then he, uh, the quick, I was with some girl named Geeks, and I was like, why is your name Geeks? Because I like getting geek, which means doing cocaine. I was, I remember yeah, 15. like coke when her name's yeah, Geeks. Yeah, yeah. I remember 15 minutes of that, and then I woke up in Kenosha. Uh-huh. So a different state, because I'm in Beach Park, and yeah. I wake up in Kenosha. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? So the next day, I tell the girl, hey, what happened? Uh, she's like, oh, you, I hit up my friend. Hey, what happened? I was like, you went with Geeks. I was like, okay. So I hit up Geeks. Hey, what happened? You went with that guy, my friend. And I was like, wow. What the fuck? And then I go to the bar to go pick up my debit card because I forgot it. And they're like, uh, and I told the bartender. Your asshole feel funny the Well, next listen, day? I go, uh, no. So I'm guessing maybe he had me suck his dick or something. Oh! Because I don't know what the fuck happened. But Dude. listen, I go to the bar. I go to the bar and I'm like, hey, uh, can I get, how much was my tab? Oh, what's his name? He took care of it for you. And he's the one who told me that I ended up with her, but she said I ended up with him. I wake up in Kenosha, Damn. and I'm like, this motherfucker raped me? I was like, whatever. Did you My- ever ask him? No, I'm not going to ask him. Why not? That's rude. Oh, rude. So the guy that might have raped you, you ask him, like, hey, dude, you didn't, we didn't do anything in a If he listens to the podcast enough... Then he'll you think he's fucking, grinning right now. There's a clip. He's gonna be watching this like three weeks from now, and he's gonna be grinning while he's watching it, maybe or something. You know I mean? Or he's shaking his head like these guys, like you know uh, what, dude? That's so why. But anyway. that's why you don't get out of your mind to where like you 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 might have blown a dude and you didn't know it. Like that's. But I was all I was there every weekend. I was might have blown a dude, but didn't know it every week at all. Oh, I didn't really? blow a dude every weekend. Wow. I only have that one and the the, the trans story. Remember, I think. You know that one, I don't right? know about no trans. Oh, yeah. You said you picked up a street walk. That yeah. No, I was walking by Boys Town, and this chick goes out to me, and she's like, you want to hang out? And that's not going to happen, really. Yeah. So unless, Women never do that. But, like, if that's, I was, that's how you know, like... Unless you're, like, over... it's too easy, Yeah, you're like, something's up. That's yeah. what I teach my son. When it's too easy... I'm not um, over six unless foot. Unless you're, like, an actor in Hollywood six, that's, like, like uh, you know, the guy that played Elvis in Hollywood. Oh, I was thinking about him right now. Like, What's somebody like that Butler? that's, like, currently... Yeah, yeah. Like, it, that, that's when, like, w- women just don't throw you 
like easy. Th- that's how you know, like, hey, what's going on here? Um, but yeah, it's, it's not realistic. So I go blah blah blah, okay. and then I'm like, I'm coming too, and I was like, where's your pussy? And I was like, I know what's going on here because I was in the anus, but with a kind of. But anyways, oh so I'm there with him, and then all of a sudden the mushrooms kick in. Yeah. So to my right. The guy that potentially raped me, mm-hmm. right? The bar owner. So to my left, guy, huh? this transgender chick that he brought to the bar. Duh. And I'm like, and it just all hits me. And yeah. Then I'm like, I get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I was like, I was like, dude, let's give him a name. Uh, uh, we will call him Jose. I was like, Jose, I'm going to my car. And then Jessica, she's like, hey, can what's his name getting get in? He doesn't have his ID. And I was like, I, and I'm not even responding. I'm in my car, just sitting there all high. And I'm like, so they're trying to get a hold of me. And finally, I was like, all right, they can get in. So they show up and they, they come and get me inside because i'm just sitting in my car outside i was like look how about this you guys come you have fun i'm going home yeah i'm too high yeah. mushrooms are not the drug have you you've done mushrooms right justin no you've done mushrooms no i have never done okay no, it's, I don't, it, no, it's I a done. relaxing drug that you yeah. want to do in nature and then explore your mind and not mm. at a fucking bar with all the, all these yeah. mexicans and this transgender chick and the guy that raped you it's not the best state of mind you want to be in yeah, so i'm like, like i gotta get the i'm like i get the fuck out of here but then they get i kind of calm down then i go inside and i'm just by the bar drinking water they're having fun she's dancing and then i'm like all right but when we get back home she's like you did cocaine didn't you i was like no i did mushrooms though we, uh, did cocaine yeah it's this thing about and i told her it's a, i think it's a, it's it's her issue i'm like i did not do it i would tell you she's yeah. like that's what a liar would say and i'm like what do you want to fuck yeah. what do you want me to do what do you want me to do like she got mad at me she thought i had some uh girl scout cookies and she's like, something I forgot. She thought I ate these Girl Scout cookies at work, uh-huh. and I didn't want to tell her. I was lying about it. I was like, I would just what fucking would be tell the you. What big deal about you eating Girl Scout I, cookies? Exactly. That was my point. I was like, what would be, I would just tell you if yeah. I fucking ate them. What is the consequence? Women, dude. Yeah, and I was like, Their forget. brains tick different, dude. They, they overthink so much. No, they can really always, real, dude. I told you, dude. They, uh, they could, if there's a gap, they could explore that gap and then explore dude, and all these possibilities of all these girls you fucked that did this. My wife, uh, over the years, I've been with her 16 years now. Like coming up on 16 years, and there's words that I'll use a new word, and she's like, Where'd you learn yes. that word? And I'm like, What the fuck are you talking about? Like, I went to she Woodlands. wants to know I didn't learn it from like a woman. Like, I really it's think a, that, it, that yes. like, it's like, Where'd you learn that from? Like, because if, if I learned it from a woman, there's a fucking problem. She can't, uh, was it th- like, uh, Tina, like some movie with Tina Fey I wanted to put on? She was yeah. like, you would, she knows I had a crush on Tina Fey. That's like you, you had a crush watch. on Tina Fey. Oh, big time for like oh two years. I was obsessed God. with her. I watched everything she did. I got. She looks like an HR director. Like what the fuck? You could find that lady anywhere. I had I had my phases where I'm like really into like a person in real life or celebrity, and I, I get over a it. crush. Oh yeah, like a crush you have like on like Selma Hayek in her prime. You don't have a crush on. Never had Tina a crush. On, I'm attracted to her sexually. Yeah. yeah, but it's like I had a crush on Tina Fey. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I was always into the physical I, and then the I knew this a, stuff. The I knew brain. a dude when I first got to Chicago that was in like improv uh, like groups or something with her and stuff. And Horatio Sands and stuff. Mike Sheehan. Mike Sheehan was here for oh, a lot Mike. of years. Mike Where, Sheehan. Where has he been? He went to Florida. Oh. But what Mike told me that he goes, when he first, uh, I got here in 05, and you're talking whatever years back that when uh, she was still here, he was like, yeah, her. And he named a bunch of other like SNL people I didn't really know about and stuff, but. Because, dude, Chicago used to be like an improv, improv town at one time. Like, it was, I, I'm sure it still it's is. It's still an improv but town. It, but that's what it was known for. It was not known for, like, stand-up. No. Like, like how it is kind of now, I assume, right? But at it, it, one time, it was all Second City. Like, those were where the hitter hitters were from. I mean, is it still like that? I mean, right now, who's the biggest hitter in, in improv? Is there an improv guy that's like, uh, this guy's the guy? Or Do you her, know what's going on with her. the improv scene? Like, it's there, but... yeah. I don't know. They got bullied. I've never got. They got anything. bumped out. I think right. It's still there. Second City. I think Dude, Chicago. They're making all that money with those goddamn four hundred something dollar classes for six weeks and shit like that. I get it. You ever take any of those classes? No. But every playing fucking zip zop for fucking three fifty a sick for zip zop. I go. Did, I'm not fucking. Did you out take of an here. improv class? Second City. No. Everybody I've ever not everybody I've met, but like one out of five people that yeah. I met, even regular people, non comics. They're like, oh, I did comedy too. I was like, you did stand up. I was like, well, I went to Second City. Da, 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 da. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. They they don't realize like how yeah. Well, you know what? It, you are learning something. Diff- Maybe it is helping you. I you wanted know. to take it to you know exercise them. Who muscle. knows? You know what? I guess a lot of the killers they did stand up or they did improv classes that become. I, I would assume a Steve Carell became went through something like that and became Steve Carell. But not everybody's going to be a Farley like that, and th- that's everybody. I mean, fuck cocaine. Yeah. Um, Okay, but, so so your girl, so your girl is. Uh, I took you know? a drug test once. Oh, really? Like same argument. You did cocaine, didn't you? Because I had a, I had this for her. Uh, I got she she didn't believe we. I was at a Jordan Pauly, 
mm-hmm. Kenosha. He does a mic and a show like once a month. Yep. And then I did it. And then I had this fucking beer, right? It was this, there was no, it's a, it's called public. So it's a brewery and they have no whiskey or alcohol. Yeah. And I know how to react to this. I could drink whiskey. I could drink a bottle of whiskey. Oh. I'll be okay. Okay. You know what I mean? Not I have the, some, I, bet. I can have beer though. It's like, it's, I don't know what it is, how it affects my body, but it's Dude, I was at a comedy weird, club dude. with you and you broke a glass. So I don't think you could drink a You whole... son of a bitch. You <laughs> know it was the. <laughs> it's too weird at Zany's and he drops a glass. Okay. Like, and it breaks and everything. I, and I'm like, all right. The I bottom didn't know this fell guy out was this me. bad. The, you know, the bottom fell out. Because of, like it, it was fall too out. cold, it fell out of your hand. You son of a bitch! It didn't. <laughs> it fell the bottom fell out. Fell out of your hand, dude. That's happened to me at a bar. Something when it's oh, like too yeah. cold or something. Dude, and then in it Milwaukee, breaks. one time I came in for cheersin on Brady and Van Buren over there, and I came in too hard and I broke the mug. I came in fucking hot. Like, who did you watch that night? Was it the Pitbull of comedy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was. Uh, it was a Pitbull. Dude, I tell you, what, for name? an older guy, Bobby Slayton. I thought he was Bobby funny, Slayton. dude. I've always liked Bobby Slayton. Dude, I mean, he still got it. He still got it for what it is. I, I, you know, I think some he's millennials more... walked out. Remember? Yeah. Ellie Wong. Have you seen Beef? <clears throat> I, no. I, I brought her up one time when she was. She wasn't pregnant, but she came to Zany's and did. Oh yeah. That's called Monday. And I remember oh yeah. She popped into the set. I think I don't know if Joey or she Abby, a little murderer up there. Yeah, she did good. Uh, this is the thing. I've seen her around for a long time, She's, dude. I saw her at the uh, comedy store back in the day. Yeah. I went to Chicago. She did something that threw me off because she yeah. was talking about. They've been trying to crown her for a long time. She popped her head up in like 06 about that. Like to she like gets the... about being rich and then being basically being more attractive when she's rich but guys don't really give a fuck nobody gives a fuck about rich chicks yeah it's like it, i was like i don't want to my be buddy dated a rich chick and you. we make fun of her like we nobody make fun cares. of her and stuff like that dudes like, are like you could be homeless but like that patrice thing like oh look at that homeless chick with the thing it's like yeah care about looks and then yeah. other items but it's like it sucks to be oh, you could be successful and all this stuff but dudes don't give a well fuck. it's more of a pain in the ass because then they're busy and uh they're they're smart maybe and uh i want and, good looks and motherly qualities and you know yeah that's it <laughs> you know what that's what all these guys are saying on these like like man podcast and women don't like it and they're all getting canceled it's like like an andrew tate type guy and like the fresh and fit type guys who's that black guy that died Oh, Dick Pills Kevin and, uh, Samuels. Is it Kevin Samuels? Yeah, was he in yeah, that crew? He, he popped his head up, and he was going to be a king, and then he I had a heart attack. I was taking those pills at the yeah. gas station. Dude. Really? Jessica was like, you just don't. She was like, stop taking those. Yeah. You know what's in that stuff. But it was like yeah. partying. I was thinking about getting some, like, uh, you know, like some uh, Viagra-type stuff. You know, I'm not going to take those over-the-counter things. But, like, blue chews. I know everybody's jumping on blue chews and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't need it, but I'm just saying, like, uh, you know, maybe some. Dude. I'm 47. I'm feeling like older. Have like you taken I, testo- testosterone. I need yet? that. I probably need that. She gonna make an appointment. I need that. You, you know how you know you're getting older is when you like don't. You're like I used to jack off like a fucking like a prisoner, and now I don't even jack off anymore. Where I'm like not that much. Where you go now, and I and and I'm thinking like, dude, you're not jacking off like you used to, and that's a worry. Like there, there's there, there's like when you jack off too much, that's like, hey, dude, you're jacking off. What's too your much. maximum a day you do? A day. Oh. Like, like right now, I'm not jacking off a day, like I, at all. That's what I'm saying. It's like maybe once, twice a week, maybe now. And oh. that's how and it used to be a day. It used to be like once a day, if, one, uh, definitely every other day at least, or if, something like that. As I was getting older, D- dude, there was I, I was on house arrest one time when I was like uh, 24. I swear to God, dude, I was jacking off like six times a fucking day, like six times. <laughs> I think a day. that's my max I because I, I couldn't leave the house. I couldn't leave the house. I just had a VH. Uh, I, dude, I had a VCR. That I was it. VHS. I didn't have cable or nothing. I was broke. And uh, none of my friends would come over or anything like that. I swear to God, my buddy came over and he goes, dude, your fucking place smells like cocoa butter. I go, dude, I've been fucking jacking off like seven oh, times Oh, you're a circumcised. Day. I'm, yeah, I'm circumcised. Well, circumcised people have to use lotion. Us, what are you talking about? Uncircumcised, we don't have to use, we don't use lotion. What? We don't have to. We don't need it because of the foreskin. The foreskin? We don't use lotion. What are you talking about? That's disgusting. Really? Yeah. That's the truth. Uncircumcised well, dude, fucking just skin hoodie, right? Yeah, just fucking. Ugh. Yeah, and eventually, like the the pre stuff comes out. Not to be too vulgar. Pre stuff. Oh, pre- the pre stuff. Yeah, is yeah, the and emotions. Fucking... If it's like you don't, yeah, you don't need <laughs> ah, lotion. That's how I know somebody's circumcised if they use lotion. You're, so you're saying dudes that aren't uh, that are uncircumcised, they don't use lotion at all. No. You've never heard that. I've no. never even heard of this. Before. I used it when I was younger because. I heard it on TV or something. I had a roommate like, that goes, you use lotion? I go, yeah, you fucking weirdo. You're over there. He's not circumcised. Yeah, I think he's circumcised. Or he's he's uncircumcised. Yeah, he's he circumcised. No, he's using it without fucking... Does he use I think he's saliva? just spitting in his hand or something like that, like a fucking animal. Like anal. Yeah. <laughs> but, dude, you are getting less wild. I noticed that, that you are starting to get it out of your system. You got to get it out of your system, dude. It's always going to be there. Look, it's okay that you've got it in your spirit, but you're going to have to... You I know, push it away. You know why? Because make, you don't want to embarrass your son. 
I do. You don't want to step in something that's going to embarrass your son, and then your son and your kids will lose respect for you as yes, time goes on. You but, know what I'm saying? Like, that's why, because then you can't go, hey, dude, don't do this. Hey, sweetie, don't do that. And they go, you did that. You Look at you did. You just, five years ago, you just got this. Just two years ago, you just got that. Uh, that's one of the reasons why, man. I'll and you also just don't want to look fool at, at like a fool at that age. I'll explain how it works a little bit. Like I do, I make my rules for myself and I do my actions to avoid that. But I know it's there. I know that little demon is dude. I got close. it in me all the and, time, I, and I know yeah. I can feel it. Like I know I, I hear it talking to me. Too. I could I potentially just go off the rails, turn yeah. into my dad, and I know I I know it's there. Yeah. So that's why. But you see where that goes, right? You know what I mean? You but see where that when goes. When it's there, you don't care. Like okay, the other day I was drinking. Like I love alcohol. But sometimes when I'm drunk and I yeah. feel it, it's like, man, I love this more than anything. And I yeah. don't know if non-alcoholics have that feeling. They're yeah. like, oh, this is fun. But it's like, this is amazing. Mm. That feeling sometimes where you're drinking and then <clears throat> maybe driving. Mm. But, but no, never, right? Allegedly. Yeah. It feels so fucking good. Yeah. Like at night, too. And things, it's just... Yeah, with the windows Nothing down. compares. You know, I love my, <laughs> it's like, I love my drinking son. And driving with the windows down is like on a su- like, like nice summer night. That's like the best. The allegedly. temperature's kind of cool, but it's nice out. And, uh, you know, that is... You know how many dudes have gotten DUIs like that, though? And then the whoop, whoop, whoop. And you're just yeah, like, you never, you no, have... but I probably should have had, like, a good four DUIs, dude. I mean, I've been, like, real... Do they give out DUIs in Wisconsin? I got pulled over yes, drunk they do. with a fucking full thing of vodka. Maybe because oh, no. Jessica was there. Yeah. And I was like, there's no way you didn't smell it. Because I, yeah. I did a show in Antioch. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Anthony Fuentes. 6-1, roast metal. But mm-hmm. I come... Man, my tumbler is full of vodka. And the thing's kind of open, like... And I'm smelling... Like, there's, and there's no way I'm not slurring a little bit. Maybe I'm like, oh, we just came back from a comedy show. I, I use the comedy show because we did. I mean, there was a comedy show, yeah. then a bar club yeah. for like the next few hours, and then house, and then a blitz. And he was like, all right, get home. And I was just wow. Like, well, I was because I knew there's a few times I was like, this is a DUI, dude. I'm, it's I reek of alcohol. Like, there's no way. But I think he was just like, I think it's a Wisconsin thing. There's a different threshold mm. versus like a suburb like Mundelein in Illinois. I don't know if you've been through Mundelein, but that's. DUI city. Anybody who's uh, Route 45 on the line, that's DUI. You will get DUI just driving there, mm-hmm. even if you're, you're dude. DUIs sober. are like twelve to fourteen thousand dollars right now. Can't get it. Can't get it, dude. You can't. They're they're expensive, and your license is messed up for like a year and a half. And your old lady's gonna be like all over you, calling you a loser. Like that's another thing too. I can't mess up because I don't want one more extra thing that my wife starts jumping on me about. Yeah, like I'm like she's like 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 look. I love my wife and I'm very happily married, but like I'm trying to do things that don't make her like a little jackal. Like she's like a hyena trying to jump on me all the time, like a little Mexican Mexican, hyena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like a little. She's like a like a. Like a like you know like a fucking coyote always jumping on me and stuff you know and I'm trying to keep her off my back and if I, the more I mess up that's gonna get her on my back and then let alone I, they've never done it but I don't want her family jumping on like her cousins or somebody like that jumping Lankings. on me and losing me re- losing respect <laughs> for me too so that's why I can't mess up dude you know I mean you, you, you got to hold frame right you got to do all that stuff it's all that it's but dude I, I but also like I I don't want to ex- I, I I just don't want to after you hit a certain age I don't dude I was on probation. Cause I was doing uh, comedy with uh, Russ Williamson like uh, seven years ago. And we, we were smoking weed doing uh, 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 Indian casinos up around uh, Wisconsin and Michigan. I don't want to mean. Yeah, all those up there and stuff. And then on the last day, we get pulled over and $10 bag of weed left that was left there. They, they put me on probation for six months in Michigan. That was like seven years ago. And I, I had to lie to my wife at first because I, I and then I had to come clean because I had to drive three and a half hours to the court date. And she's like, what? And I'm like, yeah. And then I had to do 21 hours of uh, community service at like a dog shelter. Like I'm cleaning out dog cages at like 38. I'm like, th- I got to change something about my life, man. I can't be doing this no more. What is that? Two ounces? A gram, right? A gram? Dude, a we dime? left with like a quarter bag of weed and it was literally $10 bag worth of weed, dude. It was a little ball. And they threw me, it cost me like a grand, which no big deal. I had to go out there twice, three and a half hours away. And they put me on uh, uh, probation. For six months, I got it done in a month because then they suspended it. They go, okay, if you get it done in a month. Anyways, I'm what? just saying, like messing up, dude. It's fu- it's 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 not a problem when you're like twenty something. Might not be a problem when you're thirty four and you kind of laugh at it. But dude, once you hit, once you cross like a certain, uh, you know, one thirty eighth parallel, you're like, I'm I got I got to be done with this. One point, they North Korea. One point seven five is yeah. what I got hit with. Got my car towed. 
Yeah, uh, they the, do that stuff. Got my. That's when when I was on. I don't know if I told you I was on mushrooms. Yeah, and it just and I did like three and a half grams. I was fucking high. Yeah, you know I, mean? I was outside. I was moving the trees and stuff. And oh I was yeah, like, you're moving trees, huh? Yeah, I was. I would look at the trees. Oh, I bet you were. And I told them to move, and they'd move, and I was like, Oh move. yeah, they're moving. Oh, you never done. Oh, you. I don't want to f- do mushrooms, dude. I don't want to do any of that stuff, yeah. man. Mushrooms, I think you should do. No Let's way. Do mushrooms. No way, bud. I don't got enough. T- I don't got the time. I don't got the time. What do you think I got? Where, you think I just got time laying around? Like, I don't got no let's I don't got make, no time laying around at all. It's we pathetic. We can't play golf in my plan. But let's I could play plan golf. It. Like, I could play in golf, and I could play golf, but, like, I don't have... We need four hours. Like, this guy, it's your producer, tough, he's dude. a young guy. This guy's got time probably laying around. That's I mean, I know he's a worker, and he's got busy business stuff going on with, like, stuff like this, but when I was like him, I had time. I don't got time no more. At all. I know what you mean, but I, I gotta. I want to make time, time for either. mushrooms. But I want to make time for make mushrooms. time for mushrooms. Yes. Okay, you've never done it. Oh, you haven't done it either. I'm over here. I'm fighting against a, a, a blind, mm-hmm. not blind, the blind. But I'd have to be away from my family. I'd have. Oh, to you be have? Like, yes, yes. I'd have to we be away. To to like, like Starving Rock, or what is it called? That park. Starve Rock? Is that what it is? I ain't going there. There's a bunch of cliffs and shit. I went there one day when a dude fell fell 65 feet to his death. I'm not going there on mushrooms. You want to go somewhere flat ground? Flat ground nature, like a park or like a a reserve, and then Uh hang. But yeah, mushrooms is about going to be like six hours. Six hours? Yeah, that's why I can't do acid. Acid is what like 12 hours. That I can't do. That I don't have time for. I don't. That's like watching Godfather Part One and Two. I don't got the time for that, dude. Really? You've never seen it's The Godfather Part 1 or 2? No, like, it's on my list, and it's like, God. I gotta see, you know what I mean? That, I've never seen that, never seen Mighty Ducks, never seen The Christmas Mighty Story. Mighty Ducks. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen The Christmas Carol or Christmas Story with the little Christmas fat story? kid. Never yeah? Seen that. Yeah, never seen it. Never what do you do on like Christmas? You don't watch that? It comes on every, like, all day during I was Christmas. A, I would, when I was younger, I'd watch Wonderful Life. Oh, It'd come up, and life. I'd see that, yeah. That's what I would... Yeah. Hell watch is that? It was Past on Fox. 80. It was on Fox. Really? It was on Fox 32. And that my antenna would grab 32 and it wouldn't grab yeah. CBS and it wouldn't grab barely grab NBC. So everything yeah. like that's why these kids ain't shit anymore cuz they don't know anything about antennas and stuff. Like I like seriously, like antennas, they don't even know what the fuck that means. Do you like Seinfeld? That's all I've been doing. Yeah, Remember Seinfeld's before good. the the podcast you were like nothing's been going on in my life. Mm-hmm. This, all I've been doing all I do is is watch Seinfeld. And mm-hmm. Clips is like that's it. That's really that's it. Yeah, I don't watch anything else. Yeah, except really, sometimes just Seinfeld, huh? just Seinfeld. You know what I watch all day? Like when I go to sleep every night, Entourage. That's all I do is watch Entourage. You ever watch Entourage? No, I've been watching a little bit. It's closer. totally douchey, but I watch it every night to go to fucking sleep. You it's ever pathetic. seen PCU? Yeah, PCU with, with Jeremy Piven. Yeah, Jeremy Piven. I haven't seen. Dude, it. Jeremy Piven's like a vampire. That dude's been like. He, he's, he's, I bet he's like seventy-two. He looks like he's like forty-eight. What's that blood that allegedly the elites drink? Uh... The Eurocron and- stuff. Endochrome. Or, yeah, endochrome. Yeah. Maybe he's drinking Allegedly, it. they are doing it. They are doing it. I don't know, but part of me was like, is this a PSYOP? Dude, what did you it? see fucking Epstein uh, met with the damn like head of the CIA? Like, uh, did you see Gary that? Gary Epstein was his name. No, Jerry fucking, Epstein. No, fucking. The guy that hung himself. No, oh, hung yeah, himself. Yeah, he hung oh, yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah, right. What the fuck was his name? Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Jeffrey Epstein. Meeting with the head of the CIA after all this stuff went down and stuff like that. Dude, that's what they were doing. They're fucking trapped. They were they were blackmailing people. Yeah. That's what it is. People it, it's so funny the government, they don't talk about like yeah, that's that's what they were doing. They don't want to admit it, but that's what they were doing. They blackmail people. They literally on purposely set somebody up to sleep with a fucking underage person and then they blackmail them. That's where our that's our government, and that's other people's governments. It's the game they all probably play. It's probably like uh, they're all at the same poker table of that, and and, it, and then this is okay, and that's how they leverage everything, and they all work together, and and whoever that's the real elites in the middle that are really pulling the strings. And the, anyways, we don't need to go there, but that's really what they're doing. They're they're literally setting up people to sleep with underage people on purpose. That's pretty gross. Who would do that? Who would do that? Besides fucking evil people, like, right? And, and then also people that are like, oh, we care about the whatever. You're literally setting up somebody to sleep with. Like, you don't give a shit about what? Nothing. Anyways, let's get out of here. How long has this been, dude? Do yeah. I have any? Let me look at my uh, notes. Black people. Oh, oh, is that what you just write? No, no. <laughs> I was <laughs> at the guy. Walgreens. So Sorry, this Walgreens dude, over here, we're on Western. It's a black Walgreens. Yeah. And everybody's, oh, they got black Walgreens? Everybody's yelling. Like it's older black dudes Duh. on their Bluetooth yelling at somebody, and this is how I talk when I'm on the phone. I'm usually on my phone. I have yeah. my Bluetooth, so I'm like, I guess I'm like an older black dude. I'm on my yeah. phone. I'm loud, and it was like this guy walked in. He's outside yelling on his phone at somebody. Yeah. Like, where's the fucking car? I go in. The guy in front of me is yelling, uh-huh. but just speaking loudly. But you know, blacks and Latinos were loud. Like, yeah, we. 
Like I think the, white people should start adopting that too. It's like, well, I might as well just jump in on it, man. They're not. Why not? But I'm saying they're not. Like when Jessica started hanging out with my family, my family, we all yell at each other. And uh-huh. I think I'm talking regularly. I'm like, hey, sister, blah, blah, blah. But she's like, you're yelling. And yeah. my mom yells and we all talk yell. Yeah. I had no idea. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. when, Unless it's from an outside perspective, you don't know yeah. how loud. Uh, Why well, you think, because your girl's like half Puerto Rican, right? Half white, half Mexican. So, but, but your dad, but, but the way you her, sound, you, you, the way you said that, white. it's more white. She grew up white. Yeah. Her dad refused to have any of the kids learn Spanish. Mm-hmm. He did, because I think he dealt with some racism. She's so like, I don't want him to deal with it. So it's like, you try every, to raise him. Every once in a while, my wife would bring up, like, uh, like I, I'm white. And I'm like, yeah, I got you. I got you being white. I go, you had all those years to get fucking thin mustache Mexican guys, and it didn't work. It didn't work. Shame headed Mexican gangbangers. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I but my wife every once in a while she'll uh, she'll bring up like uh like uh you know uh I never had any other ex boyfriends say anything about this or that. And about I go what? I, it just whatever. You know, and I go, Oh, the the guys that didn't work out with you? The guys, they never said anything. You know, the guy that's been with you for 16 years, but uh, the, the guy that, that you didn't last. <laughs> that's funny. You didn't last eight months with. He never said nothing. Is that a oh. premise? That's a good premise. No, that's not a premise. That's like, like that, that. to write that down, but that's true. It's dude, dude, check this out before we get out of here. Uh, this happened today. My wife said, uh, uh, my friend Tressa's coming over on Friday. And uh, and I go okay, and she goes maybe we should paint the kitchen. I go we ain't Fuck painting you. the fucking kitchen because your friend's coming over on Friday. I'm not painting because I'm painting the kitchen. She ain't painting shit. You know what her version is? I'll pick out the color and then I got to get to work. That's what it is. Her fucking friend. I, I I go I have people come over here all the time that are my buddies. Nobody's I don't fucking do anything. I'm not weed whacking or anything like that. I do because once I heard her friends coming, I instantly thought like I got to mow the grass on Thursday or Friday. I got a weed whack. I got a fucking oh, shit. I gotta we- pay the leaf blow thing. everything. Thing. I, 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 as soon as she told me her friends coming over, I start deep cleaning already, and it's Wednesday. Like already, where I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna she scrub the floor. Cleaning. I don't really no give a fuck. Me. I give a fuck a little bit. Me I because don't... guess what? If I don't jump in on it, bah, 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 yeah. bah, bah, you know. And I love my wife. I look, dude. I I, I say wife. these things about it. I love my wife, dude. She's she's definitely made my life better. You know, my wife has made. Dude, I was an animal when she met me. Like I was like you. Like not as not like you though. I don't fucking. You went to an extra level of like animalism, you know, like Did you use condoms? Uh yeah, man. I've always disgusting. used condoms. Mm-hmm. What do you mean disgusting? It's yeah. No, I, I but when used, I met my I wife, I was like an animal. I was like a mm-hmm. feral animal, dude. Like it was I was yeah, it was, you know, so she has made my life better. She brought me back down to like earth and go like, okay, all right. You know. That is a good thing about women. They can be. That's why when like guys hook up with like piggy women where it's like that like she's like a slob and like has you know, whatever it is where it's like, dude, like, what are you getting out of her? Like, seriously, because she's a slob. You ever see slobby chicks? Like, where you go, ugh. Yeah, I don't like that. Like, what? pig-like, as far as uh, mass, I'm okay with it, as long as I can't be seen with you in public. Well, I'm saying, like, you, you know, you ever have friends when you're a kid and you go over to their house and it's disgusting, where you go, God damn, yeah. your mom and dad are disgusting. Like, not one of them knows that this place looks like shit. Like that, like and that's the, the that's there. the type yeah. of chick you don't want to like hook up with. But you know what? Maybe that chick likes to party and she's fun. I don't know what that can, is. Can you pull up Gary Coleman before we always want to see him? I Gary see Coleman. Him. Yeah, remember he has a disease where he can't grow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know Gary Coleman, yeah, right? Of course. Oh, he doesn't know Gary Coleman. Well, what's that show he was at? What's this happening? This guy's young. He's like fucking twenty six and a half. Of he, course he, he died in twenty ten. Um, yeah, I think he got killed by Al Qaeda. He was, he was or something. like he was like fucking. What was the show he was when on? He died. What's happening? Now what's oh, fuck. What year were you Different born? Different strokes. He's born in ninety four. I graduated high school in ninety four, dude. Are you kidding? This, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm old. I get it. It was murder. What? Okay, so Gary no, Coleman that's was like on an the inquirer. Show. That's a globe. <sighs> he was Bat Boy, but look, Gary he Coleman was a cute little kid though. When he was like this though, but man, he never grew. He had a disease where he couldn't. I know. Uh, uh, he as an adult, he looked like good for him though. Type. How many people had these type of diseases over the years? And this one kid is that his wife that allegedly killed him, according to the. Uh... Oh really? She killed him, huh? Oh, she's white. She's white. Yeah, he's a white bitch. But Gary Coleman was in a show called Different Strokes, right? Yeah. Uh, and Molly Shannon talked shit about him. <clears throat> so really? they were, what was it? There was two black brothers, and there was a white chick who ended up doing He's porn. Mean. And he, and he, he, he it was like, uh, he adopted him, the rich white dude. Do you remember what happened in Different Strokes? Yeah. They were adopted, yeah. so they grew up with. White guy adopted. Old white dude. Willis um, and. Uh, what you, t- yeah, he was, his line was, what you talking about, Willis? Yeah. Different Strokes. Yeah. Really quick, I want to see. But what, dude. The chick did porn, eventually. Uh, Willis was wild dude in life. Yeah. 
and this oh, guy eventually had a, had a wild life, you know, because he couldn't get any work. And then the chick, the poor young, there little pretty are. white girl, she was she had a wild life, dude. She Where's was the old like white a, dude at? You know what though? A, a, a lot of these. Oh, people, there he is. He, he looks like a pedophile. A lot of these people the bumped scene. into the wrong time when like crack and stuff was coming around and coke was big. I mean, they they. You know, a lot of us, if we bumped into Coke and crack when it was coming around, we would have we would have probably fell hard. That would have been so cool. Oh, it would have been so cool. It would not have been so cool, dude. <sighs> at all. Imagine how good. It was. Oh my god, it do ruins. You have, do you have plugs? Do you want to try one of these? I bought these at the gas station again. No, dude, Cat- I just read that. It's tangy like, ketchup. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's like Canadians, but a little bit like it's a mixture of Canadian and Mexican because uh, it's gross. Canadians like ketchup. Uh, do you want to plug anything? Plug your podcast. Oh, Bustin' Balls podcast, dude. All day. Eric Pinnell comedy. Let's you know? do some at uh, Cigars. And then uh, this will be out. Like, yeah, I just talked to, I just talked to Ronnie of Cigars and Stripes. Uh, I don't, the uh, way I feel him out, comedy will never come back to Cigars and Stripes. He doesn't want it to mess. I, I, in my opinion, not his opinion, not what he said. I just don't think he wants it to mess. His, he's grown a good business with the food and the drinks. He doesn't want comics out there messing it up. <laughs> yeah. That's where it's at now. Where like you can't even have comedy at his venue that people will actually. Uh, well, they had the open mic and it was. They'll complain. Yeah, it was a weird open. Not weird open. It was that a was fun a, open. That was mic. one it was of the great best open, open mic, mics. But yeah, I used to love cigars. So. That was one of the best open mics, and they did Saturday shows and stuff like that. I mean, that was that was a good venue to you know, you know, support comedy. But whatever, man. Yeah, that's it. Social media. I'm building the anything. chicken coop. Uh, Eric Pinnell comedy uh, almost, but. Uh, Busting Balls podcast on others. Uh, but, uh, dude, I'm building a chicken coop. I know you got to get out of here. I bought oh, four chicken. chickens. Building a chicken coop, dude. Almost done. It's going to be good. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm into it, you know? You ever but had you, chickens? You live on, no, I don't. I live out in the country now. I'm not that I moved, good. I moved fucking out of Chicago. I was out neighbors. by Midway Airport, Chicago City Limits. And my wife said, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm loving it out there, dude. I, I at one point I'd like to get away a little bit. Like after get the away, pandemic. you're in like up there in Wisconsin. But I mean, I'm surround- you- I'm in Kenosha, dude. It's not. What's that like? There's like a hundred thousand people, seven high schools. It's not like. Yeah. No. Is it clean? Does it look like a dirty Milwaukee, or is mm, it like a clean? There's Milwaukee? parts of it, but it's segregated. Like when I go to downtown, there's too many white people. And I like, I grew up in a mixed Joaquin. Yeah, but you know what, dude? It's weird. What do you mean segregated? Because I like white trash, but I don't like. Like, up but people, I, it's weird. You, you don't think people are not living with each other? Like, dude, if if you got money, go live where you want to live. It's no, but it's not the same. It's, town. Not, it's not like people are going stay out. You can't come in. I'm here. not saying why, but I'm just it is. Yeah, and then it's I, well, dude. Mexicans up, like living with Mexicans. Look at little village over here, right? Yeah, but I grew up. Look at Chinatown. Chi- Asians like living with Asians because all the shits there and all the foods there and like I, I mean, so there is something to that. And obviously, you white people same. living with white people. I mean, there is something to that also. And black people like living with black people. There is something to that. Not saying that we all should not live with each other at all. It's like get your money up and move wherever you want. Separate to get. but equal. <laughs> but uh, follow the Lobin podcast on Instagram. I haven't uploaded anything on TikTok in months. I might start, but yeah, I don't know. Not huh? But anyway, why not? Just I don't know. Maybe I will. But it's still up there. But uh, Lobo Empire. Oh, there's a Patreon. So there's new Patreons. Three bucks a month is the lowest tier. I have merch. I am not going to put it up on anything yet, but I'll do. Is there anything else? I knew there was something else I wanted to promote. Instagram. Oh, the Facebook group, the Lobo Den. It's a funny group where you want to, if you want to get canceled, go check out the memes there. Also, there's, I made a chat. I got a feature on Facebook and it said, hey, do you want to I left make... that chat the other day. What's up with that chat, I don't even man? Look it's at doing it. too much. I don't even look at it. I just, it just too popped busy. up. It got popped up and it's like, hey, you want to open a chat for the group? And I opted, but I was like, I don't even look at it because I don't even know what's going on because you, uh, it's, I don't know. I feel like it's too much. Yeah. It's too much. So I'm on the group, the chat, I feel like it's going to get really dark and it was not Reddit. I don't know, but I feel like it's going to get uh, out of control in there. So I stay away from the chat that I created. Yeah. Yeah, why um, did you do that? Huh? You should put it on Telegram or whatever the hell they call it. I don't even. I don't know. Maybe I'll start to read it. Uh, Justin, podcasts, specials, movies, pornography, pornography. Okay, love on that. Love on that. Love on that. Love on that.